was it? You know, so my grandmother just could not relish the taste. Right, so right. she just say, to eat or not to eat, I'm right. die anyway. Right, so right. just give me back the chicken foot and me, 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 me beef and me, right, right. me pork. Mm. So she just continue her on the road to death. Oh, man. I learned from that young age yeah. that these things were not good. good. And then learning that, not being Rasta, but learning that as one who grew up under the same tradition, I said, well, if my grandmother eat that way, then me follow her, I eat the same way, yeah. the same problem well, she had, I going to have the same. Right. So from a, at a tender age, we start relinquish um, the, the meat things. out of the diet. Oh, okay. And then later on now, we start read the Bible now. So when we find Genesis 1.29, mm. and when we go in a, um, Isaiah 11, we talk about the new heaven and the new earth, mm. and God say, in the new heaven and the eat new earth, the lion are going to eat straw like the ox, and, and, a, and a lamb will lay down with the lion, mm -hmm. and a little right. child shall play up on the, ne the nest of, a, of the wasp and not get bitten, right. because none shall hurt nor destroy in his holy mountain. Mm -hmm. We say, wow, then if this is God's plan for man, why should we go outside of that plan? Right. So we decide and say, no man, and then all that now coupled with Rastafari, when you look at people who are dear to it, was Rasta. Mm -hmm. And we say, wow, this seems like the way to, to go. go. And I've been doing that, I'm 57 now. Wow. So I've, I've been doing that over 40 years. 